Okay, a loose screw falls from a hot air balloon 200 meter above the ground. At an instance, the balloon is moving upwards with velocity of 12 meter per second at an angle 30 degree uh, above the horizontal. What is the time taken for the screw to hit the ground? Okay, uh, don't know whether you realize or not, this actually is a projectile question. Maybe we can draw a picture yeah, to describe what's happening. Uh, you, uh, we see uh, this screw falls from the balloon, but the balloon is traveling at uh, 12 meter per second, third, the direction 30 degree above the horizontal. Uh, so this is important. Yeah, give an angle. This is what it means uh, by a projectile. Yeah. So we can say uh, basically it's like a balloon. Okay, uh, hot air balloon. Okay, uh, it is uh, you know travel at this um, velocity it is travel at this velocity uh, which is um, uh, we put that as an initial velocity uh, 12 meter per second uh, at an angle 30 degree above the horizontal so a loose screw falls from the balloon uh, a loose screw falls from the balloon uh, if uh, the loose screw fall from the balloon, uh, there's a screw uh, fall fall from it. Okay. So what I can say is this screw is inside the balloon. <coughs> okay, it is inside the balloon. So this uh, the uh, uh, okay. This is the balloon, and this is the this is the screw. Okay. So the screw has the share the same initial velocity as the balloon. Ah, it shares the same initial velocity of the balloon. So, the initial velocity of the balloon is actually also the initial velocity of the screw. Ah, okay. Ah, so, uh, this, okay, we need to know, he give us the this 200 meter. Okay. So, this is the ground. Uh, it is the height is uh, 200 meter above the ground. Okay, this is the height. So what I can say is um, uh, the screw has the initial velocity of the balloon. Okay. Okay. So in reality, we can say that the screw uh, tra travels uh, because it has the initial velocity of the balloon. So it has it travels in the projectile motion uh, from the balloon. So this is uh, this is the path of the okay because it has the initial velocity of the balloon. So it has the projectile motion. Ah, so this is where the screw goes. Alright. Ah, because the balloon is going up. So the screw also actually going up initially. Uh, it's also going up initially. So when it falls, it also falls in the form of projectile motion. Alright. Uh, it doesn't really fall directly downward. Yeah. Uh, it actually falls uh, with the uh, velocity of the uh, balloon. Okay. So uh, we need to so uh, give us this uh, h value. This one is actually s y. Now this is the you can see it goes to the ground. Uh, so we can say this is actually s y. Uh, okay, s y. Uh, but we can say um, s y uh, when it goes to the ground. Okay, uh, s y compared to the initial level. Compared to the initial level. So this is the the ground is two hundred meter below the initial level. So the S Y you should put a negative sign. Ah, put a negative sign. Okay, that's the vertical Y displacement. Ah, and then we have this initial velocity. This one can be resolved into two components. Okay, can be resolved into two components. Uh, so we have uh, U X equal to twelve cos thirty. We also have the UY equal to 12 sine 30. Okay, now that will help us, yeah? So now let us find out the time taken. Uh, the time taken, so we need to find the time taken. Uh, so for that, because we have the Y displacement, we can use the Y component. We can use the Y component. Okay? So for y component, we already have uh, this uh, sy equal to 
okay we have uh, sy equal to negative 200 meter uh, we also have the ui equal to um, uh, ui equal to uh, 12 sine 30 uh, and then for y component is actually a free form motion okay that's why it's negative g uh, just remember we learn about projectile motion yeah we learn about if uh, talking about x component uh, if talking about x component um, the ax is zero right uh, for free form motion ax is zero ay is negative g okay uh, but now uh, seems that we only want to find the time taken so we don't need to bother about the x component we just use the y component okay so what's the time taken uh, so we just use the formula what s s s uh, equal to ut plus half a t square uh, using the y components okay all these are uh, y components okay just substitute the value uh, this negative 200 okay in uh, initial velocity 12 sine 30 uh, t and then it's negative half uh, okay ay is negative g uh, so we have uh, this one uh, so calculate the t and we get the t is equal to okay so uh, we got the answer is uh, 7.03 okay uh, after we calculate um, and this one is negative uh, so we don't have negative time so just ignore so that's the answer okay so 7.03 is that correct yeah that's the answer for uh, this question 7.03 that's the question that's the answer b Okay, so it's a projectile motion.